that there are two different types of knowledge knowledge which we receive in the world through various sciences science of history geography philosophy anthropology psychology various type of knowledge of man knowledge of science science of mind science of body very stark science of computer and so on but they cannot reveal to us who is man why man behaves in a particular way psychology may analyze it but what will be his character tomorrow what are things will happen to him psychology cannot tell us our phd cannot tell us why the world is behaving in a particular way suddenly something happens what are we supposed to do how to handle it there is something called i see reflected with a beautiful image how an eagle handles a snakes of this earth handles on the sky and finishes it up though we are on this earth we need the knowledge of heaven through spiritual phenomena we have to handle the earthly elements of life yes we need another knowledge which god in his generosity gives to all those who hunger for him which we call it revelation god reveals himself to his children and through the knowledge of revelation we begin to understand as we read in first corinthians 29 onwards what no eye has seen what no ears have heard what no one imagine is the thing the lord reveals to his children those who trust in him and they walk with that knowledge of revelation they come to realize that the arrows that aimed against you they don't prosper because that's what the lord has kept for his children yes they begin to understand there are so many types of attacks but they don't come to you and that's what god has kept for his children yes a beautiful revelation the knowledge of god helps us to understand who are we and how do we get this knowledge this beautiful knowledge called a revelation it is by the word it is as we read the word reflect on the word my word gives you my life and my salvation and the knowledge of heaven and earth john chapter 6 verse 63 so the more we read this knowledge we the word of god as we are reading the word as we are listening to his word the ways are being revealed to us it is not just we sit on the shore when moses asked the father now in front of us there is red sea behind us the enemy now what to do show us the solution god says sorry i have already given you the solution what is the solution go ahead with whatever i have given to you i know who you are i know what are the struggle you have on this earth and i have provided you with all that i have provided you i will lead you little flour little oil was enough in first king chapter 17 for a widow to take care of herself and elija till the end of their journey in the wilderness in their drought five loaves of bread and two fishes are enough to feed 5000 people that was given to a small boy five stones are enough for david to destroy a great man called goliath a donkey bone bone of a donkey is enough to destroy 1000 philistines 
who stood against Samson. So what are your enemies? What are your situation? Doesn't matter. But what God has given to us, recognizing what God has given us, with that God will lead us through the knowledge of revelation as we listen to his voice. Hearing the voice is different from listening to the voice. Jesus said in John chapter 10 verse 3 to 5, My sheep will hear my voice. First, the, when the Lord speaks, the sheep hears. He calls by name. They hear. As they, the master says something, the sheep begin to understand. Master is telling, get up, it is time. Master telling, lie down. Master is saying, the enemy is coming, run. From the voice, they hear the voice, they understand it, and they obey. Hearing, understanding, obeying leads to revelation, leads to hear God's voice. That's what he said in John 3. 10 verse 3 to 5 My sheep hear my voice My spirit sheep understand my voice That's what Jesus said in John 15 verse 5 to 7 He said if anyone hears my voice If he is in me and my word is in him He lives forever if anyone hears my voice, if anyone is in me and my words are in him, whatever he asks, he receives because he moves in a different realm. It's not of the human realm and the revelation which is the heavenly realm. There you are taught what's happening to you where you need to go and that takes place as you are reading the word as you are meditating on the word as we read in the book of Romans we read chapter 10 verse 8 onwards the, you keep the word you treasure the word and you the word is near you the word is on your lips you continue to repeat. You are now in a situation. God has given you a word. You continue to go on repeat that word. As you are repeating the word, your mind which is affected with many thoughts, your mind which is affected with many programs, your mind is which is busy with various activities, it becomes to still. Because you continue to Go on, I can do everything through Christ. My grace is sufficient for you. In your weakness, my strength will sustain you. I am with you always. All those who are broken in life, come to me. Take my cross and I am with you. I will lead you. I am gentle. The more you listen, when you go through deep waters, don't be afraid. The water cannot drown you for I am with you. I will lead you through my victorious right hand. You go on, repeat, 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 repeat to the word which is given to you. For every circumstances, to his children, God gives a particular word. Today morning as I was reflecting, God gave me Romans 8.28. For those who love him, God turns everything into good. I was thinking about something else and as I was praying, the, as I was praying, the Lord gave me the revelation. Okay, this is what is going to happen to a place around 150 kilometers away from here, another center of ours, for which I was reflecting and praying. And God gave me a, a revelation. I cling on to that. And there is so much of fear, so much of worries, what to do, how to do, when to do, to whom to catch all these issues amidst that there comes light, the revelation through the word of God and you hold on to that word and according to the promise he has given to us, he does everything. 
So the Lord tells Moses, Why are you crying to me? I have already given to you. Go ahead. Moses says, How can I go ahead? In front of me there is a red sea. The Lord says, What do I have given you? With what who I have given you, you have to learn to walk ahead. So he raised his hands with a stick what he had and started to walk and the sea gave the way. 